Hello everybody, welcome to this new lesson. In this lesson we create a looping circle like the following. The code will be only with CSS and HTML and also the code will be linked as usual in this code, I mean in this video description. So let's go to the code and see what we have. So So first of all, we will create here an HTML file. You see here, HTML loading 23, and I'll create also an empty style sheet file. I'll see here style. Okay, then over here, I'll create. I mean, I'll link them. I'll link those styles together. So I'll say link, and I will see here href. Let's say style sheet. Then type CSS and real is style sheets. Great. Now here I'll create the uh, elements we have. So I'll create the dev. We have two devs. For, so the first would be a class center. I'll give it center. And the next would be loading. Sorry, dev and class loading. Great. Then over here, I'll create six spans. I'll see span one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Then I'll go to the bad, to the I mean body over here. I'll see body, batting, zero, margin, zero, the background. Let's choose this background. Okay. Then I'll go to the center class. I'll see dot center. And over here, I'll see possession. We need it to be absolute, and we need it to be from top and the middle. So from top, 50%, from left, 50% too, and from uh, I mean transform. We need it to be from left and from top. I will say translate, translate this element to the negative 50%, and also negative 50% means put it in the middle. Then I will go to the next class, which is loading. In this class, I will create the position is up relative, so we could control its position to be from the middle. The width would be, for example, five hundred pixel. The height would be five hundred pixel too. And over here, I will see display flex. Display that element as flex. Okay. Then we will say the uh, alignment of the content or the element center and let's say the content alignment which would be justify content so justify content center great then i'll go to the next element which would be the uh, spans inside this loading i'll say loading then span inside it i need it to be position absolute position absolute and I'll add also the radius. I will see, sorry, for the radius, and then it will circle so fifty percent. Great. And then I will create the animation. I have it. I will see animation a uh, a one for example. And let's say it would be two seconds, and linear finite, in finite means loop forever. Then I will create the keyframes. We have it. Before we create the keyframes, we should create, I mean, the delay. So I will say here, uh, loading, the span, and I will see the child. I will see n t h child. The first child. I need the delay to be. Uh, so I will say animation delay, and let's see, it would be from zero seconds, and ahead. Uh, I will go from zero seconds to. Two seconds. So I'll see one, two, three, four, five, six. Means we have six elements. This is the second. This is the third, fourth, fifth, and the last. Great. Here I will say it's zero two. I'm um, sorry, zero five. So five zero to five, and over here it would be also uh, one. Over here it would be. 1.5 here it would be 2 and I think we missed one what uh, let's say we have 0 5 
1.5, 2, and OK. And the, the last one is 0. Great. So let's save them and double click the element over here to see what we have. So I'll create only 5. Or you could increase it, no problem. I will see 2.5. So over here I will see 2.5. So the fall, the fall, it would be like the following. Okay. So there's no animation yet. I forgot to create the keyframes. Over here, I'll create the keyframes. I will see K frames and I'll see A1 means the animation we have created. And over here, I will see 0%. We need it to do the following to do the width. Uh, that we need it to be 100 percent means 500 pixel over here like it's 500 pixel so we need it to be 100 percent of the what also the height we need it to be 100 percent too and we need the opacity to be uh mean zero there is no opacity from the beginning and we need the box shadow to be uh inset and zero from the first uh, position and the next and we need it to be 50 pixel okay the width of that thing that uh, border i mean box shadow then we say rgba means the the color we need it i will say it would be 17 17 17 and let's say it would be 8 okay so it means the opacity would be 8 okay then i will create or i duplicate these things and change the values. I'll see here one, 100 means the last, and we need it to be zero, means return the normal value, okay? And the opacity will change to one, and here we'll say we need to change this color to white. So I'll see this one will change to, I mean, a lighter uh, opacity, and this will change to 155, 155, and 100. 55. Save it and when we refresh, we'll say the result is the following. The color is not white, so we should change the color to be uh, a little bit white. So let's say here it would be 1. And over here it would be, for example, let's say 8. Okay. So let's save it, refresh. Okay. Now it works perfect. It works as we suggest. So uh, you could see how is it working now and this was the previous lesson i mean the previous uh, code and this is the code that we have created now so thanks for listening and watching and see you in another video bye for now